So what we're going to do today is fit a tech boost plug to the Thruxton R 2017. So the first thing to do is to take the seat off and then we need to be getting into this area here. You've got two options or three options. You can put the sensor up around the headstock under the headlamp or near the airbox snorkel and I'm going to go for the airbox snorkel. So what we've got to do is remove this side cover which I think just pulls off, not really easy one handed but yeah it just pulls off like that. Now a lot of people have been talking about removing this snorkel but in doing that the induction part is there and in the rain that's going to suck a lot of water in so we're not going to bother doing that. Now we've got to lift the tank so we're going to take this bolt out just here. Got the bolt out. Just going to lift this up a bit. And apparently, here's the plug here. So we've got to get this out. So, piece of wood under the tank like that, perfect. Oh, well, that is really depressing because that has just broken off of there. So I don't know if you can see that down there, that is the bolt that's just snapped, which is rather annoying. So now we've got to try and get that out, which would be fun, no doubt. Right, so we've got the tank off now as uh, this little bloody stud there has snapped or bolt so we're going to try and extract that and then while we've got the tank off we might as well strap the air sensor up in this area which i'm sure most people don't do it because they're frightened of taking the tank off it is really easy to do but not when you're holding the camera so uh, yeah the tank's all off i've had this off before a few times um so Let's see if we can get that bloody thing out. So we like to do things properly here, so I'm going to get that out, but I've got to take the uh, mount off the, that holds the fuse box in.
so there's the bit, and there is the snapped off stud, the little bastard. So that is out. I was really lucky with that. There's so much thread lock on that, it's ridiculous. So I'm not going to run Triumph down, but the fixings they use are pretty cheap. This is a BMW one. Pretty good quality stuff. And this is the Triumph one. That is just cheap Chinese shite. That's why it broke. It's so soft. That one, I can guarantee you, will not break. see if I can find one to replace that because I don't want that snapping not that I'll probably ever take it off again there we go so we've got two nice stainless steel allen screws there so that's panic over anyway mind you it wouldn't have cost much if you needed to order one of these probably about 10 15 pounds or rather inconvenient when you're doing this just before dinner to go out on it tomorrow. Oh, you little bastard. Do you know, I think that rolled down into the bloody air filter box. That's going to be fun to get out. Right, so the booster plug is there, goes into the plugs in there, and then what I've done is I've run the probe into the air box, and you see there I've drilled two holes in the snookle and cable tied the probe so it's sort of hanging in here, so that should. Uh, be fairly cool there going into there put the tank back on we did try getting the probe up to the end of the headstock but I don't think it's long enough so this is the better solution just curl it up inside this area here and then uh, cable tie the probe in and as I say the, the actual little box where the cables go in and out for the booster plug sits there quite comfortably we sort of lost a bit because the camera stopped working so we couldn't see the bit I'd filmed where we was uh, trying to get the probe up to the headstock it's a fairly straightforward job to do and the uh, new mounts the allen screws are there the parts that snapped, so it's all good. So these are just Torx screws in here. Look like they're going to come out fairly easily. It's two each side, quite a coarse thread into the plastic, so it's actually really. Easy to do, top one, yeah, that come out. Interesting, where's that come from, I wonder? I mean, this filter should be pretty good. The bike's only done 1,400 miles. It's nice, nice quality filter, that. Shame. Certainly a lot better than the nuts and bolts I use. So this is a DNA high-performance air filter for the Triumph Thruxton R. So there's the nice High performance filter. Whether they make that much difference to the performance or not is debatable. I mean, they're a bit more free flowing, but they're reusable at the end of the day. You can wash them and uh, re oil them. They probably make a bit of difference, not a lot. 
something else to fit to the bike, isn't it though? Well, that is just so easy. I think we could literally say anyone could do that. Right, breathe the pipe back on. The job is done. Bit of silicon grease on the other rubber buns. Right, so that is those two jobs done. Um, so modification wise, this has had the decat done by the previous owner. It's got the straight through, Vance and Hines, the American ones. We've now got a boost plug in it. We've got a free flowing air filter. That's about as much as you can do with that, getting involved with cams and whatever else. So, uh, yes, it'd be interesting to see how well she goes now. Um, I mean, it won't be a great difference. It'll probably make the uh, throttle pickup a bit cleaner, low down when you're sort of pulling away from traffic lights and stuff like that. Uh, I'll put one on the Scrambler. It did make a slight difference. That used to get really hot. So, yeah, that was, that was good. This hasn't actually suffered with any sort of low... Rev range stalling, um, but yeah, it's, it's just something to do, isn't it? Boredom, really. Lockdown boredom. Um, so yeah, we've got everything done. So we'll take it out tomorrow, give it a run, and uh, see how it all behaves. It should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, be interesting to see with the air filter. As I say, it won't, I don't think we'll notice a big difference. The big difference you notice is uh, with the D-cat. I think that's the biggest one. Um, personally, I think it revs a bit better. It's a bit freer revving with the D-cat, but I think you lose a bit of the low down torque. I was debating on whether to put the cat back on it or not, but I'm going to, after riding it to the MOT the other day, I do like the sound of it, and I'm going to sort of just monitor that one. But I've decatted, I certainly did the other Thruxton, and I did the Bonneville I had a few years ago, and just always they just sound nicer. Uh, so we'll stick with the decat for now, and uh, yeah, another job done. Oh, and of course, we got the Triumph gummy grips and the tech. Levers, these look nicer in black. So that's it, thanks for watching. Hopefully someone will find this uh, useful when carrying out the same sort of job. And we'll see you again on the next one.